Well, hey, Epic, I hope that you're having a good day and doing well. Welcome to day three of our reading plan. My name's Will, and I'm the pastor at our Center City location. Hello, Center City family. What's up? I love you guys. So this week, we are going through a reading plan that's walking us through the Lord's Prayer. And today, we're focusing on the part of the prayer where it says, Your kingdom come. Now, your kingdom come is actually the second of the seven petitions or requests made in the Lord's Prayer. The first three address God and who He is, and then the second four are prayers related to our needs and our concerns. Now, what comes to your mind when you hear the word kingdom? If you had a kingdom, what would it look like? What would it be like? I know for me, if it was a kingdom that I was wanted to be a part of or I was running, I would want it to be how I want it to be, and it would reflect who I am and my character and what I'm like. It would be full of people I love and who I care about, something worthy of being called my kingdom. But uh, when it comes to God's kingdom, it's ordered by what reflects his nature and his heart, and it's filled with people he loves as well. Now, throughout scripture, we see that Jesus repeatedly brings attention to the importance of seeking God's kingdom and seeking his will. So here we are asking God's ways to happen in our lives and it to be fully obeyed in his kingdom here on earth. But what does that actually mean? What's it like in God's kingdom? And why should we even want to experience it? Well, scripture tells us that in God's kingdom, there will be no more pain, no more tears, justice, and all things that are wrong will be made new and right again. I definitely want to experience that in my life. So for you, what would it be like or look like for God's kingdom to come into your life? What about your family, your city, our whole world? So today, my challenge to you is to take some time throughout your day and answer those questions and think about what that means for you. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for this opportunity to pause in our day or whatever we're doing right now and just to really focus in on you and uh, realize what it means to have your kingdom come down into our lives. I pray that uh, today you would help us to align ourselves with you, the things that reflect your heart, the things that would bring honor to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.